The government could shut down by next week, October 1st. It will be shut down if Congress does not pass legislation to fund Congress. As a result, thousands of federal workers could be impacted, as well as other federally funded programs. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. Here's the deadline to fund the government it is on the 30th of this month. Yeah, Kim, only four days away. President Joe Biden had some strong words for who he calls extreme House Republicans, saying they are determined to shut down the government. Just about a week, we could be facing a government shutdown if Republicans and the House representatives don't do their job. And there's no reason for us to be in this position. President Joe Biden says earlier this year, he and Republican Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy came up with an agreement on government spending levels that will fund essential domestic and national security priorities and also cut the deficit over $1 trillion over the next decade. But he says extreme House Republicans don't want to do their part. So they're determined to shut down the government, shut it down now, and it makes no sense. And with a potential government shutdown looming, many people could be at risk, including those who use the special nutrition program for women, infants, and children, also known as WIC. Department of Agriculture officials say a government shutdown would cause real consequences for real people. In some cases, uh, it would be uh, literally within a matter of days after the shutdown. Uh, in some cases, it may be, in some states, it may be literally in a matter of weeks. But clearly, uh, during the course of a shutdown, millions of those moms, uh, babes, and young children uh, would see a lack of nutrition assistance. He also says farmers would be prevented from accessing new loans and housing loans for rural families could be delayed. If the government shuts down, that means members of our U.S. military are going to continue to be on duty but not get paid. And frankly, that's adding insult to injury. If there is a government shutdown, the U.S. Department of Defense says troops will still defend our country, but they'll be doing it without pay. All of this would prove disruptive uh, to our national security and our efforts to address the critical needs of the American people. And again, the reason is that uh, these extreme House Republicans are basically turning their backs on a bipartisan budget deal that they worked out uh, uh, with the president. And two-thirds of them voted for it just a few months ago. 1.3 million active duty service members would be at risk of not getting paid if the shutdown does occur. Of that 1.3 million, 8,200 service members in Alabama would be unpaid. It's not just the service members not getting their paychecks that are affected here. It is their families. Nobody joins the military to get rich. You join because you, you love your country. Electrical bills, water bills, rent, mortgage. Uh, uh, grocery bills, all that stacks up to the great detriment of these young men and women. The good news is Social Security recipients will still get their payments. The Postal Service will be unaffected. Law enforcement will still be operating and veterans will receive their monthly pension and health care benefits. But thousands of other federal workers, including nearly 25,000 in the Mobile area, are at risk of working without pay or being furloughed. Kim? Karis, thank you. The government shutdown could directly impact the airport in Mobile as well as the development of the new international terminal downtown. Chris Curry with the Mobile Airport Authority says it would affect TSA workers who would have to work without pay. During the shutdown in 2019, many workers found other jobs which slowed down the checkpoint passage. Also, non-essential workers such as people who process payroll and grant funds would be laid off. This could delay any capital projects lined up for the airport. No one wins from a government uh, shutdown, and hopefully, uh, you know, our people in Washington could work together for the good of the airports and the flying community. Curry says the development of the downtown international terminal could be delayed due to a pause in processing grants.